So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> my name is Pony Pony. That's my name. Pony Pony. Another slice. Pony Pony. Pony Pony. Another slice. Pony Pony. <laughs> This is boy, they call him the runner. Or oh, what is he? It's that boy they say preaches a lot about God. The guy that needs to have a brain scan. He needs to have a brain scan. Who is it? Enigma. Enigma. I want to encourage you, church. Delete. Don't watch that boy. What they are doing, if you watch that boy, don't watch him. Jealousy, don't let it consume you. Jealousy will expose her to real you. It's like a demon in the dark, corrupting your mind. Do you are? And I see you posting those things being a Christian. You share about the mockery he does. Now I don't care who could die. Look how dirty that boy is. We are soon I would Agana Fazi, Agana Anja, Agana Kati, Agana Moto, Agana Anju. Which is on a sea. Jesus has become a mocker. Because now it is it is a battle in the spiritual world. The devil is doing quick quick so that many Christians will be misled. That's why we have false prophets and they are working and they are doing it. So the Lord is also revealing them that are doing this. The Lord is revealing these false prophets. And the Lord is revealing that our leaders are in the false world, in the dark world. They are misleading us. So the Lord is revealing this so that those who love the Lord and those who want to go to heaven, they must repent and look to the Lord. No more looking to the president or leaders of the world or their false pastors. Because this is a period of grace. The Lord is revealing everything. People must repent, ladies. The consequences for every prophet who lies are serious or deadly. And I have already discussed these things in great detail. God will not take lightly any person who begins to play to an audience, who begins to pander to an audience. There's a lot of people. God will ask them to do something for him. Either he will raise them up as an actual prophet or he will raise them up as a prophetic messenger. That's different. And if there's time, there's a Bible verse that I have to look at that actually has an example of that. God can raise someone as someone that he will intermittently give prophetic messages. That person is not a prophet. That person is operating by the spirit of prophecy. And then God will raise up someone who day and night, night and day, God is communicating with that person exactly like a short wave 
shortwave radio. God will constantly come to that person and press it like a walkie-talkie, tell the, something into the person's soul, and then say, out, and then the person is supposed to press it again and deliver the message to the people consistently, continually. That is what a prophet is. I'm going to come. Listen, I'm gonna make you sweat, make you wet, make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sweat, little baby, pissing in your chest of pressure. Vault unlocked. Hello, what is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle, and this is Vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. Alrighty then, you guys. If you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on the thank you button. And before you guys leave out of here, please do drop me a comment in the comment section down below. Right? In this video, you guys, I want to talk about how sour o pastamporo. Are we still calling him a pastor at this point? Umporo is. Umporo was <laughs> leading a church. I, I don't know if it's his church or whose church. But the video has surfaced, right? And in his sermon, instead of, uh, you know, I don't know what was going on. I just saw the clip that I saw, right? Instead of him reading from the Bible and bringing people closer to God and to their salvation and repentance, he decides to divert at some point, I feel like, right? Um, and start speaking about, oh, brother, enigma. In a very derogatory, harsh way, right? And I believe that Umpora did this because... There was an interview that Upas, uh, uh, Brother Enigma, excuse me, has done where he did mention these um, creepy pastors. And Umporo was one of them. We all know that Umporo is one of those creepy pastors. I feel like after the whole Midanyi one by 10, Ngaba Slicer, Umporo thought that everybody was going to think he's actually a real pastor. We don't think that till today still. We were just really entertained by your rubbish. That's why we made the videos. It was funny. And in our corner, end of the month was coming. School fees has to be paid. Type of situation. But we didn't change our minds about who we think you are. A creepy pastor. We thought that then. We think it now. And especially now. We really think that. Right? So in this, on this day, he's, on, he's in church. He decides. Somewhere along the line, we would say, okay, I'm going to divert from the Bible that I'm holding. And then I'm going to talk about ooh, Enigma. He goes on as if he doesn't know who Enigma is. He knows. Everybody does. Right? And then he, he disrespects who Enigma. I understand, I understand 110%. When you are sour, or going, you're going through some things. Né? You don't even know yourself. And you become that evil person. Ah, I was there. Where you start to pretend as if you don't know, or oh, this isn't this person is older than you, or this person is your senior in your field, or what type of situation. He goes on to say that Enigma is a boy. This boy, he tells his congregation, don't listen to this boy. A dirty boy. Dirty. Right? He's lying, wada wada wada. And then in a way, he calls his congregation out, his people out. He goes, yeah, I've seen you guys reposting his stuff. Don't do that. Don't listen to that guy. Why? Everybody can listen to whoever they want to listen to. Why are you so mad? Because you're not going to be able to slice this one particular person. Ah, so Rashem. Excuse me. Kiss all no. Kiss all no. He was very disrespectful, calling Upa, oh, oh, Brother Enigma dirty. Brother Enigma's not dirty. Facts, we've seen him time and time again on different podcasts. He's not a dirty man. And for Oumporo to say that it's a boy, boy, you, can, you, you saw the gray hairs. You saw the deterioration of the teeth. He's an old man. And he told, he even told us his age. But Oumporo did that just to belittle him, diminish what he's saying, like many other people do. 
Somebody said in my comment section, at this point, Lynn, you talk about, oh, Enigma so much. It seems like you're going to start worshipping him. I already told you this. I will never worship oh, Enigma. Why would I do that? That is so ridiculous. I'm not following Enigma. No. I follow God. I follow Jesus. Right? Umboro, he was mad. Because in one of the interviews that Enigma did, he called out Umboro and said that he's one of those creepy pastors. I can't remember verbatim what he said, so I'm not going to say it the way he did, but that's what he was saying, that he's one of the creepy pastors, one of the ones that the dark kingdom. It makes sense. It's so ironic how Umboro is saying that oh, Enigma is the childish one. Let me play you a clip and you tell me. With these two men, head to head or back to back, which one gives childlike um, vibes? Because I know who does. I mean, in my opinion, it will always be Umboro. What the hell was he doing with that cake? <laughs> You see what I mean? Have you ever seen U Enigma behaving in that way? It gives me the same vibes of that American pasta guy. Usually, I do play him um, when I talk about like um, demons manifesting. What's his name? Copeland. Yeah, that Copeland guy. He does the same things like Umbor, but differently. But they have this very comedic, comedic, laughing, geek, like hyenerish, very outlandish type of behavior that they do when they are preaching to people. It's very like, when's that? Can't you just calm down? We're not at church to, to party. If you wanted to party, you're going to go to the club in the dark of the night, which I never advise. I don't go clubbing here anymore. I left that life behind because there's nothing there. There's nothing to learn. There's nothing to actually do but just drink and get drunk and get into trouble. Trust me, I know I was there. I was there. Right? Look at how he was going on with that cake. Not only that cake, but many other instances. He wants to be that celebrity pastor. He's the one that was saying that with all the other pastors, when their scandals were exposed, I was there supporting them. Of course you were. You have those um, brotherhood rings situations. Somebody was asking me, why do I wear so many rings? I just like rings. They're from Mr. Price, guys. It's not that deep. I've never done any brother or sisterhood, any things. I would never do that. I would expose them. But also, I wouldn't go there because they, they wouldn't want me, first of all. And they would probably eliminate me when I got there. Because they would know what's really in my heart. I'll just wear Mr. Price rings. So, Olonduzani, Umboro, was so disrespectful and vile. Because he was upset, he was touched. We we also with him wielding the pangas and stuff. He gets touched very easily, and then he goes. He's like a celebrity guy. He's just like Ukopelin. He reminds me of that guy. And I look at U U U Umboro. You know, when I did those videos about him, I for me it was just like a comedic release because he's so comedic. I don't take that guy seriously. If Umporo, if I was to sit in his church and he was preaching and stuff, there's nothing I could take seriously because of everything else that I've seen online of him. It's like, I can't. And I'm not saying that every pastor or prophet and stuff must be staunch and hard and rigid and stiff. But there's just, you, when you know, you know. When you know, you know. And I just wanted to put it out there, Uguti. There's nothing dirty about Uwe Enigma. Enigma looks very clean. He looks like somebody Otabang, Abatasa, Kemfa. Wow, this is Vasily. Oh, why, why tata, tata, aspre, how nice. And in some of the videos that I've seen of him, he is going to Mr. Price to go buy his clothes. Just a modest man. Maga, he's not dirty. That's a lie. Mboro was saying that because obviously he wants to shame the guy. Because what he was saying is true. So if he did not ever believe that Ui Enigma was telling the truth, today is your day. Because the creepy pastors are now starting to sweat. Any of the creepy pastors that you have seen online, and there has been a few that come against what Enigma is saying, because it is so simple, it is so childish, you must understand. Quite a problem. 
clearly problem and then you know why right but you have to be careful you have to be very careful you know blasphemy is the one sin that can never be for, um, forgiven but apart from that also trying to stop the work of the people that god has appointed is going to be a really big problem for you it really is you call him a boy he's dirty what's wrong with saying what's wrong with that he's not building pangas you understand? I will never get it. I will never get it as to why people are so um, against Winigma. I would get it if you are saying that, guys, honestly, if you are saying something dangerous, it would click to me, trust and believe. If you are saying something that was leading people astray. But because I have been asking you guys for so long, for years now, please repent. I get what he's saying. Live, live a holy life. I get what he's saying. If there was something in there that was dangerous, that was going to lead you astray, just like how Umporo has done things over the past couple of years that would lead you astray. That's why he became one of the creepy pastors. You saw that thing. With Enigma, where's that thing? Way, 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 way. You can't even find, like you can't. And there are so many other pastors that have even come out to say, even if it is not 100% um, in, the, in the Bible, the, uh, like word for word verbatim what he's saying, but it's, it's still in the Bible. Do you understand? It's so simple. It's the simple things that you are taking for granted because you are saying, and a lot of people like to fixate on the lashes, the dresses, the clothes, the wada waters. Because they want to make it a joke to diminish what he's saying. But you're not looking at the bigger picture. That's a problem. If you cannot take the simple things that he says and look at the bigger picture, how it all comes together. You want to complain about, well, oh, people must... I even said this in that other video. When I saw I was in error, complaining about people mustn't go to gym, but they have to be healthy. But you do understand what happens at the gym, guys. You've seen the videos of the girls opening, they put their phones there, they're opening their legs. Horrible sexual what what? Which will lead people astray. It's so simple. It's the simple things, you guys. Anyway, it is what it is. Eventually, guys, we will all get to... Um, that really good standing with the Lord. We can only try as much as we can. Um, just try to stay on the straight and narrow, you know. If Jesus could do it, I, I told you guys, let's all aspire or have Jesus as our role model. I know it seems like it's very daunting and hard because ooh, who can be so perfect with all these temptations and vices in the world? It's, uh, it's you know, we were born sinners. We know this. Um, but we can try to refine and repent, repent as much as you can. And I'm not saying repent and then go back, keep going back because it's like you're playing with God now at this point. But Zama, Zamu change, and you really have we all have to. That includes me. And like Enigma said, that includes him. He's not guaranteed his space. Like these other scholars were saying, is your salvation is guaranteed, like you are fine. No, you're not. The day is coming when God is going to say to some, depart from me, I do not know you. And we don't want to find ourselves in that position because, oh, Usman Mani said, it's, 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 it's a done deal. God said in Revelations that there's going to be a lot of prophets in these end times. Yes, there's going to be fake ones, but use your discernment. The fake ones, we know them, guys. Only that feeling about them. With Enigma, it's, so, it's like childlike, but it's so clear and easy to understand that even if, it's, if you think that it's such a frivolous thing, oh, give me a cup, give gym, what do you mean? I can't go to hell for that. Think about it broadly now. Expand your mind. Why he's saying, what he's saying about the gym. It becomes, the gym has become a very sexual place. And you know it. You thought, especially the thoughts and holes you can get in the comment section. But yeah, the thoughts and the holes, you go there to go meet men, isn't it? One nitty. You know exactly what you're doing. It's always a hunting ground. 
Oh, that is something. Ladies, go to this restaurant. You're going to find the man. Come on, guys. It's that simple. I'm not disappointed in Umboro. Oh, this was expected of him. He was retaliating that little goofball of a man. In my opinion, he is. He's always performative. Hey, he's a performer. Never ever seen Un Enigma do anything like that. Never ever seen Un Enigma dirty. Obviously, the Dark Kingdom and the people from that kingdom, oh, they have to retaliate now. Especially if their names are going to be mentioned. Instead of using this opportunity, if God is calling you out, it's actually your chance. Realize. I get it. You guys are men of God. You would know when God is actually communicating with you. Mara, it seems like some don't. Are they really men of God? This is your opportunity to repent and change your ways. You panga wielding pastor type of situation. It's about that time. And I'm telling you guys this. 2024 right now. How many months? Two more to go. 2025 is going to be rough. I've known this for weeks now. It's going to be so rough. We're getting in rough, 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 rough. It's rough. There's a lot that's going to happen in 2025. A lot. What the hell are those um, ships in the sky? You guys have heard about it, right? The mothership is here. Oh, no, it's not the second moon. It's a mothership. And then those other things that are dropping from there, they're about to disclose that thing. But what are aliens really, if not fallen angels? What are they? It's a spiritual game, this one. Spiritual warfare. Wake up. Anyway, because this thing is our life. This thing has to... I don't know how you guys feel about Unkulunkulu or what he does in your soul. This, oh, it's deep. But we are, we are tandas and you normally all of a sudden we are kala by yourself. Not, nothing performative. It's a feeling. It's a knowing and an understanding. And I really do pray to God that everybody will get to that point. And to stop with your nonsense of, yeah, you said you have repented, Mara, you're still wearing lashes and stuff. But you are the same people that are saying that, oh, for the enigma speaking nonsense, you can't go to hell for lashes. So what's the big idea? What's the what, what's the big deal? I just took her Come on now. You want serious. Think before you speak. Right? Anyway, all the best to Brother Enigma. I don't know. I feel like this, like I said with Ukoko Skoteni, that was the last video I did about her. I feel like this is the last video I'm doing about Oh Brother Enigma. Um, anyway, yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. If you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on the thank you button. And before you guys leave out of here, please do drop me a comment in the comment section down below. I absolutely love you guys. God loves you more. Don't forget you guys, when you go to bed tonight, go and tell God the shady things you've been doing. And don't tell him and say, Usban Man made me do it. Tell God why you did it. Why? Repent. That is repentance. I'm telling you, Father, I did this thing. This is why I did it. This is what I was trying to get out of the situation, but I was wrong. I feel bad about it right now. Please help me. Help me. Let, help me stop this thing. Help me change my ways. God is going to help you. The same way God is um, helping me, he's still helping me with a lot of things. I'm not perfect. I'm pretty damn sure that he's still helping me and many other people. It's a process, you guys. None of us are perfect. We will never be Jesus, but we can strive and try to be like him. We'll never be like him like that. He was really perfect type of situation. I need him. Because how many of you can say that you would die for the rest of the world, strangers that you don't even know? Some of you say that you would die for your family members, your kids even. And then when the going gets tough, you would never jump in front of that bullet. Now imagine total strangers around the world and Jesus did that and he knew that thing was going to go down. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That is deep. But you would say it if I was to ask you now. Mara, be put in that position like Jesus was. Would you actually do it? Everyone, none of us are perfect. Some of us are not claiming to be. And we are still going to try every day. That's it.
and also just live your lives guys you never know when it's gonna be d-day for you hey you never know but nipileni smell the flowers that god created you know right anyway i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>